As we all know, Lebanon has unfortunately had its tough times over the years. Issues with politics, poverty, and constant war has left the country in a crippled state. Over these years, Islamic Relief has made sure to answer the call, stepping up to support and provide for all those in need within the country during the most difficult of times. Since our establishment in Lebanon in 2006, we have supported communities of all ethnicities and religious groups, helping people from regions all across the country. We provided those affected by war with food, clean water, essential household items, and more. We helped rebuild hospitals, repair water facilities, and assisted Lebanon's residents with rebuilding their livelihoods. Following the Syrian crisis in 2011, Islamic Relief started working with Syrian refugees in the country. All this is because of you, the donors, who have been there to support the people. Alhamdulillah, we have had opportunities to work with countless individuals and partner organizations who are passionate about helping those in need and were vital for our work in Lebanon. To begin with, you think you can help everybody uh, on your own. And, uh, but there's a lot of people that needs help and you just can't do it by yourself. We have a small non-for-profit non organization in Biqa al in Lebanon to help uh, needy people and, and especially orphans. And after a few years, we had thousands of orphans that came forward. We tried as much as possible and then uh, we couldn't keep up uh, with the amount of uh, orphans that came forward. Reached out to Islamic Relief uh, in order for support and alhamdulillah, they offered uh, to take uh, over the orphans uh, on a monthly basis. We moved from helping uh, 10 or 12 orphans uh, a month to helping over 500 every month for two years for a total of 2,700 orphans. In one of my trips, I was able to meet the director of the Islamic Relief Office in Beirut, in Lebanon, in Bika. And also, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I was able to, we were able to establish a relationship with an important organization on the ground, uh, Azhar al Biqa, uh, with Sanduq al Zakat at the same time. This relationship has helped Islamic Relief to uh, reach the right people, the needy people, avoid duplications, and also create synergies between organizations. They're also able to meet with the local authorities, such as the mayors, the imams, and through them, they were able to find out the needy people. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I assure you that I am sure that the funds, the zakat, the donation is getting to the right hands. I will continue, inshallah, to help and work with the Islamic Relief. No doubt that this organization, which is the Islamic Relief, هي مؤسسة موجودة على الأرض وتساهم في إيصال الإعانات لأهلها وبالتالي نحن ندعو كل فاعل للخير أن يتحول فعله من فعل فردي إلى فعل مؤسساتي ومن المؤسسات الموجودة على الأرض هي مؤسسة الإغاثة الإسلامية فعندما تكونون عونا لها ستكونوا في إعانة المحتاجين أكثر إن كان في بقاعنا العزيز في مؤسساتنا أو في غيرها we have to work together, we have to work with such organizations uh, in order to, to deliver uh, help for more people, for more uh, communities, for more countries uh, and, and to spread the help. We can't just, uh, we can't do it without these organizations. Islamic Relief will always be there to answer the call of the people within this country. But we need your continued support and trust to continue doing that, inshallah. Donate today.